Thank you very much, Toby and Jens also for the invitation and the possibility to present my results of a qualitative study from Switzerland that analyzed factors influencing social workers' decision to run for political office and identified skills for a successful political engagement. And I'm also very impressed by the numbers from Talia. I don't have any numbers, but some quotes for you. And I hope that's also okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, oops, now I cannot switch, sorry, no. Okay, I make the introduction short because I think um, all of you are quite familiar with the following topics. Also in Switzerland, it seems to be very clear that social work and politics are closely related. Similar to Germany, I think there were a few discussions in the academic discourse in the past about the role of social work in the political game, or precisely about the question, does social work have a political mandate? Today, there seems to be a consensus in Switzerland to see social workers as active policy makers. According to the global definition of social work, the Swiss Professional Association Avenir Social takes a clear position, as you can see on the slide. There are several options for social workers in Switzerland to respond to this call and to participate in politics. According to Edith, I'm not sure if she's here tonight, but I think the graphic is very helpful. According to her, there are six paths for social workers policy engagement and the extent to which social workers in Switzerland are involved in these six paths of policy engagement has only been explored in very few studies so far. And in particular, the fact that social workers also engage in party politics by holding collected, um, political office has not yet been the subject of research. So with my study, I focused on this very specific civic route, as Toby already said, um, very specific civic route of policy engagement holding elected office. My study bases on the civic voluntarism model as a theoretical framework. Rick just explained this model in his presentation, so I'm not elaborating any further here. And in addition to the CVM, I also used explanatory models from political socialization research, which focuses on factors that are important for the politicization of individuals and asks about important socialization agents, for example, family or education something that I think Talia already also mentioned. As you all know, the CVM has been used to explain the political participation of social workers. Studies have shown that, for example, membership in recruitment networks, political skills and knowledge and political interest have a positive impact on the political participation of social workers in general. However, there is still little empiric empirical knowledge available concerning social workers running for and holding um, political office. So with my study, I try to find out if assumptions of the CVM can also be confirmed for social workers who hold elected office in Switzerland. Recently, social workers have been encouraged to run for political office by various social work associations because there is not much research on why social workers decide to enter politics, there has been an increase in publications and research on this topic lately. On the slide, you can see an overview of international studies. They came to the conclusion that important influencing factors to run for political office are, for example, politically engaged families, professional associations, daily social work practice, and also comp competency skills and knowledge acquired through education and social work practice. And I wonder, can these findings be confirmed in Switzerland? My study focused on the following two questions. As I already said, what factors influence the decision of social workers to run for political office and what are important skills and competencies for successful political engagement? The method I used for data collection was a semi-structured biographical interview. In total, I did seven interviews between April and August 2016 with five women and two men from the German-speaking part of Switzerland. All of them are social workers who are also active in party politics on local, state or national level. I analyzed the interviews using qualitative content analyzing and analysis, and now I'm going to show you the most important findings. 
When I ask the interviewees about the starting point of their political involvement, they all mentioned their family. Parents who initiated conversations about political issues or held political office themselves play a particular important, important role. These findings are in line also with previous political socialization research. But the results also show that university lecturers, for example, who are politically active can also be very important. So I'm now showing you two quotes to illustrate the results. And I think it's easier if you read it for yourself. And in addition to the influence of family and university, mobilization networks also played a central role. We already heard about that too, that recruitment networks are very important. Also, the respondents were very involved in various mobilize, mobilizing networks, such as student organizations, professional associations of social work or trade unions before they decided to run for office. And many of the respondents got to know people active in party politics through these groups who motivated them to join a political party. I have another short quote for you. Yeah, and the results finally show how most respondents decided to run for political office because of their professional experience as social workers. They often recognize that service users problems cannot be solved in individual casework and have therefore decided to run for political office to help changing structures. And two participants described that they wanted to be active at the political level as advocates for service users who themselves do not have access to politics or who cannot articulate their concerns themselves. And I show you another quote which is showing that. Pretty good. Yeah, and one finding that maybe surprised me a little bit in the beginning um, was that the respondents stated that their education and professional experience in the field of social work had provided them with a lot of skills that they also use in their work at the political level. So one person even stated that he realized he's still pretty close to social work with what he's doing now as a politician, just on a different level. And I identified four main social work skills which are useful in the political arena. And that's um, conversational skills. So com communication competencies are a great asset, especially in discussions with political opponents. Also negotiation skills, for example, systemic thinking, um, in-depth knowledge from social work, like group dyna dynamics or um, conflicts, about conflicts. And then um, politicians with an executive office have mentioned also that social work methods are very helpful um, in political work, empowering, motivating, and participating. And I show you the last quote to this topic. Can you give us one more minute to read it, please? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, of course. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's fine. Sorry, if I was too fast yes, before. Thanks. Thank you for saying. <laughs> it's very helpful because I know them already. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, to summarize, the decision to run for office is influenced by socialization agents, family and education, by mobilizing networks and social workers' experience in their daily practice with service users, as I mentioned. And these findings are consistent with the CVM as well as with political socialization research and similar results have also been reported by previous studies on the political engagement of social workers. 
If we now take a closer look at the identified influencing factors, it becomes clear that not only one factor leads to the decision to run for political office. The process can be described as a, like an interplay between various factors. So all respondents already had a strong political interest before they ran for political office. This interest is primarily awakened by agents of political socialization, parents and teachers, and further reinforced by memberships in mobilization networks. For example, this um, associations, um, professional associations, um, yeah, like so Avenir Social in Switzerland, for example. And then further reinforced, um, oh no, that's what I always said, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ultimately, the decision to run for political office is further stimulated by specific experiences in the practical field of social work. So what I'm trying to say with this slide is, it's like a process with different factors that build on the top of each other. And also in line with previous studies, respondents see the skills and methods they acquired through their education and professional social work practice as useful to their political work and crucial also for success at the political level. Yeah, let's come to a conclusion. Um, generally, active political participation is fostered by various external impulses. So social work as a politically oriented, oriented profession should therefore reflect on ways to further promote political interest and engagement among students and professionals in the field. I think in this context, as we also already heard, training plays a crucial role especially when considering that the large group of social workers in Switzerland don't feel prepared for political engagement. Tobias Kindler um, had done research about that and found out that, yeah, students don't feel enough prepared. Um, so that's maybe a difference to the statement of Manu, I think was her name, <laughs> that efficacy is not there. Um, yeah, in this, uh, in, in, for the students and accordingly social work education should focus more on political content to prepare social work students for the political arena. Associations often asking their members to get actively involved in policy making and as the result of this study show these kinds of mobilization strategies have a high impact on the political participation of social workers. So the finding maybe also help associations to think about different and multiple ways of encouraging their members to engage in political activities. And talking about this topic, last but not least, Toby and I recently published a book containing contributions from 17 social workers who are elected politicians also. Um, so if you're interested in uh, reading more about biographies, projects and strategies of elected social workers, you can write us an email. By now, the book is only available in German, but if you all order at least maybe 100 books, we are going to translate it to English. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>